Okay, so uh, we got the idea last night on YouTube from a commenter named John Snow to do a full game with commentary. And I think it's a really good idea. And I, I honestly can't believe I didn't think of it because like Trick2G obviously, I probably sound like Trick2G a lot with a lot of the shit I say. But he does my waves. And they're really cool. Again, if you're looking to jungle, if you're looking to disrespect, they're really fun to watch. So we're gonna do a full game commentary. I'm not gonna cut anything. Um, we're just gonna go straight through. Uh, I knew immediately what game I was gonna choose because this game is absolutely absurd. It will show you that you should just never give up on a game. It should, like you should never give up. It doesn't matter. This pretty much shows it doesn't matter how bad your teammates are. If, if there's just one person on your team you can kind of find to like, not even be amazing, but one person who can do something, you can win a game, okay? Uh, so this is my duo here, uh, the ADC. We end up playing like 12 games together. And he's just letting us know that the other three teammates we have are 49% win rate, which again, hey, I don't care if you're 49% win rate, that's cool. If you play a league, I like you. Um, but we're gonna have to work for this one, you know? Uh, they're, so me, me and him are smurfing. Uh, I think the ADC is like plat one. Um, I'm like around master's level. And their jungler, we don't know what his rank is, but he's an 80% win rate. So he's very likely like diamond, maybe even high diamond. Um, so already, you know, in the jungle, we have a 49% win rate, gold Nunu against probably like a diamond two, diamond one king. So it's gonna be a really fun game. Um, you know, we go Spell Thief, we start W, pretty much everything that professional analysters don't do. Uh, the W is for damage. And again, I don't focus on my WQ combo. I'm always looking for just the W angle because if you can perform a, a good W, you end up getting two forms of CC. Where if you combine your WQ, you only get the Q knockup. So your W actually gets a one second knockup. It's just in a direction. So I, I highly recommend that for anyone super getting into Alistair's to try to use them separately. Uh, spell Thief for the gold, obviously. It's the worst item in the game to start. You should honestly go Ancient Coin Relic Shield, but I like it because I like hitting people. And uh, the 100 gold is just a protest. The support item used to be 350. So I used to go refillable because you can keep using it. I don't buy pots. Either, but things that you only use once and it goes away in the So we're in lane here. We're getting W for the gold. It looks like we got Nunu coming in for a gank. So we're kind of baiting them in by running backwards. And we're going in. We got CC on Pike. And we're trying to run past them to get our W off. And I know I flash here. I don't know. The, I don't think the flash was necessary, but we still get the W off on, on Pike, but he flashes away. Trish just kills us. Vayne doesn't have heal. She goes TP. And we have to end up getting the Pike here. So we got Claps on Pike. We get the Pike. And honestly, a one for one's fine. Um, Vayne's obviously better than Tristana. So anytime they trade kills, it's fine. I, I honestly wish I had flash. It's like painful. And then she just gets jumped on level one. Doesn't have flash. She flash for Pike. So the two Smurfs are, I guess we got to kill, but we're still two deaths there, man. So not the best. Um, TPing back in, so she doesn't, she doesn't lose that much. And uh, the Vayne's really good, honestly. So even though our three teammates are a little eh, I'm still pretty confident. We just, we play a little bit reckless. Um, farming up here. We got top and mid doing okay. Corky ends up being okay. Uh, pretty much I'm just always putting myself in dangerous situations because I like practicing dodging skill um, shots, but with Tristan having jump and me not having flash and me already using my W, I'm pretty much just dead. Uh, you'll see that as a recurring theme. We got Corky TPing behind, but I'm not sure to do what. Okay, we got a little fight here, okay. Corky's gonna end up getting Tristan in here, yeah, and we got Pike. Worth it. I think all his Especially abilities are down. We got Kane coming in there too. No, Dude, they Vane, might be able to pick this off. Okay, oh so we got Vayne with the double crazy. kill. So this around. is really, really big. Um, again, Vayne is the best person. Oh, well, than me, the best person out of the three. So if someone's gonna get kills other than me, we want it to be on Vayne. Corky with a pretty good TP. It kind of just seems like they could have just ran through our jungle and escaped. Um, so we're pretty much always just looking to run around the map. I don't even care if I don't have a ward. I'm just a moving ward. I'm always getting vision down. I'm always looking for ganks. 
I don't care if I'm standing in their jungle. We got a little gank going up top lane. I don't care if I'm standing in their jungler in their jungle for five minutes. If I can get a kill somewhere, I'm having impact. I'm distracting people. You've probably piped, you know, if, if it's at least in the plat, probably pinging that I'm missing. So like you got people at least expending energy thinking about, I go for a little WQ, get the 33 gold. So I'm always getting something. Even if we don't get a kill, maybe I get a flash. Maybe I get my 33 gold. So there's always a point for me being somewhere. Nunu is just standing there. He's still standing there. I don't know what he's doing. I'm probably coming in here to get a little bit of tower gold. We got Kane, but I can get behind Kane. I, get, I got behind Cat, the double CC, do you see? So you're always looking for, and a flash. You're always looking for to get the, the angle with W to get one form of CC, and then you Q. And we got us, this game, honestly, the chat, you're gonna see some things. I, uh, I, I get a little excited in this game. I get excited most games. Um, we got Kane coming in. We got the angle on the W again. We have the Aftershock, we got Q, and we have Ignite. I mean, this is just a recipe for disaster. You're getting, you, you never want to get on the opposite side of an Alistair to where he wants to put you. Cause he just W's you, Q's you, Ignite, like you're just done for. And then she just gets a, she flash Ignites out of Fog of War. Okay, so what else we got going on? We got Vayne still 1v2 down there. Nunu going for a gank. Um, doesn't look like much is happening. It's hard to gank Pike Tristan. It's probably the two worst people. So we pick up our mobility boots. That's always our, our, our always first go-to is mobility boots. And then if we can afford it, a pink ward, okay? Because all we're doing is roaming around so the, again, the, the easiest contribution we can have is throw a ward somewhere, right? We're always trying to ward and we're trying to build up our movement speed as much as we can. I should probably look at my uh, runes a little bit um, since you can see them down here. Uh, again, Aftershock, you literally can't play Alistair without Aftershock, I've tried. Predators, sometimes fun to try, but Aftershock, it, it's almost a second ult for Alistair. Uh, we go Fauna Life. I wish they could replace that rune. There's just nothing else there that I can use. Um, the bottom two are just for getting tanky. They're great. Uh, on the right, so this is the big change you'll see. I think I think most Alistairs go uh, Inspiration, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know why. This guy, Relentless Hunter, is the number one rune on Alistair. It gets you up to like, I forget what it is. It's like 60 or 80 movement speed uh, when you get max stack. So if you get one champion, obviously by you know 15 minutes in the game, you're gonna get an assist on everyone. So you're, you're moving at like 60 or 80 or 60 or 80 more movement speed, which is literally like another dead man's, which we'll get to later, but it's insane. It's 60, 80 movement speed. It's exactly how we want to play. So it looks like we're ganking Katarina here again. Um, pretty much most games, we just can't mid. It's the easiest lane to gank. You know, you can come from both sides and let's see what happens here. Cat's really hard to gank, especially, I remember this game. Um, she just perfectly can dodge every single uh, gank if she, if she doesn't mess up her abilities. So we're still roaming around here. Just getting, again, I, any little thing I can do, even if I can just get vision of camps, okay? I know that Kane didn't get crux, right? Going in for Cat again, let's see if she can dodge again, right? Because there's no mess up from us. We All we have to do is click W on her. It's a point and click. She how, has to like, perfectly dodge. How does she just dodge. get it every two seconds? Yeah, see, I'm complaining. She has to perfectly dodge I don't, I don't every single time. Sense, so. If she messes up once, she pretty much dies. You know, we get the W, we get the Q, Aftershock, and if I can pop E, yeah, we got a Quirky. Quirky's still doing fine. Vayne, unfortunate. I mean, she's just 1v2. And against, like, Pike Tristana, they just have so much CC. We got the triple CC being pulled off on Cat. Oh, my God. It's just nuts. Kane coming in, but it's too late. We got him already. Oh, is he going for it? Oh, he's, he's got to be dead. We flash away. We get the W off for damage. And that's their, their diamond, diamond whatever jungler going down. Pike's too late. Yeah, so you gotta be really careful with Kane's ult, right? If you, fl you you have to flash completely perfectly after he comes down from it. Otherwise, he's just on top of you and he gets off the ability. So we flash, we get the W for damage because we max W. So our W is gonna be doing a lot of damage and it's just that extra second of CC. We're always trying to pop off Ws. Corky's still doing fine. I'm pretty sure Nasus is just getting obliterated. I, I mean, as Nasus does early game, but... Um, we got Vayne still competing. Looks like she's going in. Oh, I think Nunu might be down there. They're going in on Tristana. They get Tristana. I think Tristana flash too. Um, 
We're still rowing around. It looks like we're going to try to pop behind Jax here. Kind of wait for Nasus to show up. So another thing that I like to do is, you saw how I kind of waited for the minions to go away. You can get really big cheese kills. Uh, I think it's... It, it can be any lane. It, I think it works the best in the, in the outer lanes because they only have one angle to run. Um, what you do is you wait till there's like one or two minions left under the tower and then you, you time it so you W when the last minion's dying and then you can end up just 1v1ing any champion. They can be level 7 because you they just take like four turret shots. But it, we were a little bit late here and our minions were pushed a little bit too far. But we're still obviously going to try to fuck with them. We're kind of baiting him in. We we see that Nasus is coming, and he just thinks we're trolling. So we get the we get the Q, we get the E, we got the W. But then Kane shows up, um, and I think we just we just so we're 100% dead. So here, here's where it's a little important. We were 100% dead. So when you're 100% dead, you can try and run away or, or do whatever, but like. My whole mindset is you want to make the enemy team think you're trolling so they just misinterpret what you're doing, right? So I could have just tried to run away. I'm 100% dead anyway. But there's two things I achieve here. One, Kane, again, is probably the only player we care about because he's high rank. So he thinks we're trolling. Two, Kane chases us just that little bit of extra distance to give Nasus more time to get maybe, even if it was just one more Q, he got off on Jax. Because Kane chased us. If we would have tried to run away, Kane would have just focused Nasus, and we would have been screwed. But because we get that little bit of extra damage in, we end up getting trade kills, which is great. So even though it looks like I'm trolling sometimes, it does help just a little bit sometimes. So Kane farming up. Oh, again, getting the trade kill on Jax is great, because I'm pretty sure Jax was destroying him. Um, talking a little bit of shit. We got Corky with red buff. I think that's when we took Kane mid. Still farming up. And always checking tabs to see how everyone's levels and farms doing. The, the only one that's really far behind, Nunu's kind of getting destroyed. But Corky's doing pretty good. Vayne's doing her best. We're still, we're, we're, there's even no way I could gank this. I guess I guess with Aftershock, we can we can we pretty much always gank with Aftershock. And that just, you, you have very weird interactions with Kat because of her jumping around. And when you click W, it just automatically procs them. But if we could have got the angle on them, we could have killed them. So we're still just running around, trying to finish Spell Thief. Jax and Kane are just killing Nasus. Always trying to go for ganks. She jumped away. We can't really reach him. But still, you just chase him to just show your dominance. Nunu has a little bit of fun here. He just whips it in. <laughs> you gotta respect like that. To see, bro. Um, still running around. That's pretty much the entire game. Just running around, trying to get vision, trying to find a lane that we can gank. See if anyone's overextending. Try to find Kane. That's a huge theme. Is always trying to see where the jungler is. You know. So okay, so we know he's here. We're gonna fuck with him a little bit here. He's trying to farm. Oh, we're taunt. We're BMing. Hell yeah. So we got a little low-key agenda here. We're kind of messing with their team. We got caught in vision, so we got Pike attacking us. So right now you're thinking. Alistair's trolling, right? He's just standing in their jungle. Obviously, they're going to come and surround him and attack him. But check, take a look at the mini-map down here. Nunu was doing dragon. And we're against a smurf cane. So this cane, again, we're talking, we're talking probably high diamond. The dude has an 80% win rate. He's always thinking objectives, lanes, right? Like, what, what can he do to have a positive impact? So if he's playing a standard support, his mind is free to think of whatever, right? Okay, he knows drag's up. He's going to go and check drag. Look at Nunu's HP, and Nunu's just a noob in general. He's level 6. Like, he has no idea what he's doing. Kane, if, if we have a standard support, Kane checks dragon, gets a kill, gets dragon. It just puts us so far behind. But this isn't a normal support. Kane is running around his jungle with a level 5 Alistair, laughing and spamming his emoji and mastery, just standing right in front of him. So we throw Kane off, we get three members to come and attack me, and maybe we die here. We're 100% gonna die here. But look what we get out of it. Nunu gets away, gets the dragon. See? So there's always, it, sometimes it just, it, like I'll get, I, I could get reported for that. Riot could look at that and be like, look, you're trolling. And it's like, no, I'm always trying to do something. 
Okay, so we're always trying to have an impact. <clears throat> we're picking up. Okay, so we're, we're always starting dead man. So again, you go spell thief, uh, mobility, try to get a control ward out. Looks like we have a little scuffle in the jungle here. His pain is just obliterating Nunu right in our jungle. We're gonna go in. We get our 66 for spell thief. We get the ignite off. His pain's healing is nuts. Corky's getting really CC'd here. It's so unfortunate. And then Cat Flash Ignite. Really unfortunate. We oh my gosh. If Corky, if if Corky could have just got one more auto attack on Kane, picked up the double buff, we honestly might have been able to turn that fight. Just really unfortunate. Again, Kane's just pretty high elo is gonna be destroying Nunu, so we're just at a significant disadvantage. We got a little battle down here with Vayne. Rolls away. Vayne's got a lot of sass. But no, I just wanted to say, um, build-wise, we're, we're always looking to build dead mans first. Why do you build dead mans? First and foremost, super tanky, right? Uh, I, you know, I'm looking at their team and, and they only have one AP person. So that's a significant thing is my build path will only change if they're heavily AP. I'm talking, I'm talking three or four members that are AP. So it's almost always dead mans first. Um, you get tank, you get armor, but the most important two things are movement speed, dead mans, uh, over a couple seconds, you get 60 movement speed, 60. That's half of mobility. You're literally getting another, like a, another chunk of mobility boots. Um, and then a, a thing that's overlooked is when you auto attack someone with full dead man stacks, you get a second slow. So Alistair already with three CC, I now get a fourth CC. And it helps even more because it, 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 all, it all adds on to itself. With dead mans, I'm faster than the person I'm chasing. So I catch up to them. I don't have to waste W to, you know, WQ to them. I can just catch them. I can just auto attack E or Q, and then I can W them in the direction I want. So dead mans just completely fits into the way we're trying to play. And it's just sick. It, it gives us so much CC and tank, okay? So roaming around here, we only got six deaths. That's not very bad. I'm talking a lot of shit. Okay. Um, so we're still always roaming around. Looks like Cat went back to base. We got a TP bot and Tristana. So this was really cool. We had a double TP bot because we, we had Vayne coming in. Tristana thought it was just Vayne. That reminds me of the CLG finals the one time. Tristana thought it was just Vayne, so she stays. And Corky low key also TP'd in, so they can easy kill on Triss. Um, yeah, they're top. They're top. Yeah, look, their top jungle are literally both two levels ahead of ours like that is at 12 minutes the enemy top laner jungle are two levels ahead of both of ours and it's not like it's just an average cane again we're talking probably d2 d1 cane so right now we're, we're we have a lot to make up to win this game so we're kind of just messing around with cat i think we're trying to bait her in near the tower because if i can get a q off right there on the map i could w into the tower and get like two turret shots so we know that Jax is in the jungle somewhere it looks like we're filling up. It looks like we've got a lot of fights going on bot lane, too. We know Jax is in the jungle. Okay, I, it's just awful positioning. But we're still... So, it's awful positioning. But all we're trying to do is we can just never give up map control. Oh my gosh, we got King going in. We survive with one HP. The cat's 100% getting that. We get it. We don't even get the return kill. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... We did get the return kill. Okay, so we knew that Jax was there. We knew that Cat was there. With just those two champions, we would have been fine. Because um, Jax only has one CC and Cat has no CC. So again, as long as no one can CC us and we have ult, no one's gonna have enough damage to kill us. Kane comes out of the wall. So the reason this game's so unfortunate is if we're against just a standard Kane, this game wouldn't have been a problem. But this Kane very quickly understands at least some of what I'm doing, just running around. So he's also just running around. So he comes out of the wall, we get 1v3'd, and it turns into an awful situation. We get the return kill, which is great, but this builds on our theme that I don't care if I'm against like four challengers, five challengers. You, can, you, you can't just give up. You can't just be like, oh, they have a better jungler, their top's winning, I'm just gonna sit behind my towers. Like, not only is that not fun, but you're just, you're, again, you're just handing them the reins. They are just gonna completely dominate the game. At least I'm trying, right? I'm trying to, to upset the pattern of the game. I'm still running around, I'm never giving up. And that's, that's pretty much what you're always gonna see with me. It doesn't matter how far I'm behind, I'm always trying to make something happen. 
We get the return kill, which is really good. Um, and again, it went to Nasus, which again, it, Nasus, doesn't matter how far he is behind early game. And Corky, we got Corky going in on Cat hard here. Dude, you can't run from Corky, but we got Pike coming in too. Nunu's coming in too, we got the whole squad. Pike's, Pike's hard to catch too. So we almost get another kill there. We almost all almost got two. Farming up here, I think Cat went back to base. We're coming in, we're trying to get that 66 gold. Telling you guys we'll get addicted to spell teeth if you start doing it. We get 66, we get the 53 from the plates. Running around, Pike's too scared to do anything. All right, so finally we can start warding. We finished our spell thief. So there's no point in upgrading it. Um, again, the reason that I get the second is for the wards and the cooldown. Uh, there's no reason in getting the third upgrade. Uh, it looks like we're gonna go, okay, so again, with Alistair, the reason you go Aftershock, it's a second ultimate. Anytime you have Aftershock or ult, you can just tank tower for infinite time. We have Ignite too, and we see the Pike's mid, we're not 100% sure where Kane is, but we don't care. We're always going for ganks. I will gank 67 times in a game. So I'm always looking top bot to see if I can kill their laner, 2v1. So we don't we don't go behind the tower. Um, I think it's because I don't have ultimate. Interestan is pretty fed right now. And Pike shows back up. So I'm trying to get the angle here. So you're again, you're always trying to get your W angle. You want to save your Q for a second form of CC. So yeah, I could have just clicked WQ on her, but what it looks like what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a wall that I can W her into and then Q after again to get the, the two second CC. So we W towards the wall, we get the Q for the double knockup, we get E for a third form of CC, and we just die because no one's paying attention. <laughs> Vayne, Vayne's really good, but you can see Vayne there kind of not really showing much. Nunu got one shot. Again, cat way out roaming Corky right now. Like, this is a rough one. This is definitely a rough game. Um, but again, it, Corky's like, Cor the, the big thing is like, Corky's at least staying equal level with cat, right? You know, the top and jungle fell behind, but Corky's staying level. You can see how he's defending himself very well. Um, Vayne with another kill. Even if she, shoot, that was 1v2. That was a 1v2. Vayne got a kill on Tristana, which is great. So we still have Vayne, and Corky's doing fine. So Jax is just wandering through our jungle. We get the Q to dodge his CC. Get the E. Okay, get the full rotation. We have ult, so we're, we're still kind of baiting him here. We ult. Okay. He's got the blue buff. Oh, you should have stole that, man. You should have ignited. Okay. Got Noon thrown balls at me. Right, we're roaming around here, still trying to get vision, trying to heal up a little bit. We're just always trying to take over the map. I'm always trying to get my max wards down. I'm always trying to see if I can gank someone. Okay, Aftershock's not up, so it'd be a little rough to go for a gank there, so I just get gold. And that's another thing about Spell Thief. No matter where I'm going, I can be picking up, you know, 44, 66 gold. Or 60, yeah, 66. So, uh, run around, still trying to find a gank here, because we know Quirky's decent. I still don't think I'm able to pull off the gank. Okay, maybe if he gets there a little bit lower. We got a little fight in the jungle here. Nunu is just getting completely one-shot by Tristana, so I'm the, I'm the F out of there. We're still trying to find a way to kill Cat because she's playing a little aggressive. If she goes in, if she uses her dash ability, we can instantly kill her. We're gonna interrupt drag here. See, I'm not giving anything. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. If I am down 30 kills. If I see they're going for drag or baron, that's the first place I'm going. Even if I die, even if I can just disrupt them a little bit longer, I'm going in. So we're trying to just get them to stop drag, dodge a couple abilities here. Pike's going in. Okay. Kane, Kane is fed, dude, level 11 double. We got Triss coming in. We can fuck Triss up here, so we get the full combo with Ignite. I think I need one more auto attack. Look at that. We dodge the Pike ult, and we die. Dude, so, Triss jumps in. She immediately recognized her mistake. Immediately, she tried to run. I get the full triple CC Ignite auto attacks. We got Cat going in here, got condemned away. There's me talking a little bit of shit. Um, yeah, don't mind me, you know, I'm literally 1v4 killing your ADC. And you can look at the HP bars, Nunu's full HP all up, Vayne's full HP, and he still gets that. Okay, so Vayne goes in after, gets a kill. We got Cat and Kane going back in. So, okay, Vayne instantly dies. Nunu's running. I think he's 100% dead. Yeah, you can see on the new map. Yeah, okay. So, we get one kill, they get two, and drag. Look at Jax just completely pushing down top lane. 
this is a oh my gosh this is a, it's, it says 17 to 24 but we're actually extraordinarily behind you can see the movement speed from dead man's i can just run it down dude like i can i have so much speed we got jack's low hp but i don't have ignite so i think i'm a little bit i'm a little bit hesitant if i had ignite i would go for it but Jax will just one shot me um we're still it looks like we're trying to get 66 gold here no, maybe we're trying to set Cat up. Okay, we get 6-6 six, six gold, double CC. We still have ult. Okay, we have to ult here. And we just get 1v4. And Corky has 4 HP. And is running back to tower. Um, so, his stats look good. This is, this is the unfortunate thing. Riot would look at this game and say, look at Alistair, 210. He's inting, he's trolling. Look at Corky's stats, he's doing great. But if you actually watch the gameplay, Alistair is the only one who's like really trying to make something happen. And Corky just did his dash back to the tower, full HP, just didn't want to do anything. And it's like, he is actually the troll in the scenario. We got a fight going on in the jungle. Oh, no, it's just Nunu running away, Vayne running away too. So we got level 10 to level 13 top right now. Level nine to level 12 in the jungle. I mean, you want to talk about a game that you're behind? It doesn't get any worse than this, right? Our, our ADC is level 11 to level 9, so that's one advantage that you give your ADC when you leave them the whole game, is they get they get a big XP lead. Um, but again, this is just, I mean, we're, we're talking Diamond, Kane, Jax, who's playing great. This is really rough. They have all the drags. They got Rift Herald. We're still trying to find something we can do. So even if it's just getting damage on Pike, I just need to let the enemy team know that I'm in this game and I'm trying to make things happen. So it looks like we got a gank on Kane coming in here. Okay, we got the W off. We're, we're going for the Q, double Q. We got the E, do you see the triple CC? You're always going for the triple CC. You get the single W towards your team, run in and get the Q, and we get the E. So we get the, a big kill on Kane. We got a couple minutes without him. <clears throat> trying to save this tower. We might be able to get a nice fight here because they're so focused on the tower, okay? We don't have all. If I had all, we could really turn this fight. Okay, we make it away. She wastes her jump, which is huge. Nunu, I think, was alting. So he's super tanky, and we, we clean up the whole fight. So they completely zoned in on the tower, and I was able to get CC. Uh, Triss would have been able to kill me, but I have insane movement speed, so she wastes her jump, dies to Corky, and then it looks like Cat made it away, but we're still doing good. <clears throat> So, we're still running around, we're trying to get wards down, so what are we building towards now? So once you finish your dead mans, you still want tank and movement speed. Those are the two most important things. Um, unfortunately, a, a big problem with League is there are only two tanky movement speed items. You got dead mans, and you can go Rot or Ohm Wrecker. I need the movement speed. So, or sorry, I need the cooldown. So I have to go Ohm Wrecker. Uh, it's, the, it's the best way for how we play. Again, you get uh, no tower aggro for three seconds, you get 10% cooldown, you get health, tank, and you get 20% movement speed around turrets, dead or alive. So 20% movement speed, we're talking, we're hitting four or 500 movement speed. Like it, it's it's literally like with dead mans and the movement speed around towers, <clears throat> I almost have more than a second pair of mobility boots. It's insane the movement speed you get off this. So again, we are just trying to disrupt the game, okay? We are just trying to cause chaos. We're trying to make this cane not think as properly as he would against a normal support. So even if we're just running around dying, like look at this, we are in the enemy jungler, in the enemy jungle, just what trying to steal the bird off Kane. We're just trying to throw everyone off. So let's see what happens here. I think, okay. We're just trying to throw him off. He, we know the red buff's about to come up. We might try to steal that. We got Cat coming in. Still just wasting their time. They're just running around. What is this Alistair doing? Okay, we got Pike. No one's gonna hit me with a skill shot. Dude, get out of here, Pike, come on. You ain't hit me with nothing either. So what do we got? I still want the red buff. Oh my God. Okay, so we're trying to get a position on Tristana. We have ultimate, so we're fine still. Okay, we got we got Kane. 1v9 on the other side. Oh, if we can survive a little bit longer. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna get Kane here. We got Kane. We got Quirky output and damage. We got Nunu, who's literally getting one shot. Oh my gosh, this is rough. So, I feel like that fight should have went way better. I think Kane was down to like 50 HP and then he got like a heal off. So I think if we would have killed Kane instantly, that would have been one for one. Vayne didn't ult either, which is weird. I think maybe she might have got rooted by Pike. Um, 
if Vayne alts or they do one shot the cane, then I think that fight just goes 1 1. Uh, we got Jax. We got Nasus got a solo kill on Jax, so he probably tried to dive and it didn't work out. And I thought they were doing Baron, so I was talking shit, but they're going bot. So this is really this is a really good spot for us. You can kind of see already the angle. If I could draw on the minimap, anytime you can get an angle but behind the enemy team, I know that I get a free W towards my team and then I can get my Q off, right? So I'm always looking, how can I get behind the enemy team? W the carry, and then just get in there and E and Q, right? Okay, so let's see how we can get behind them. It looks like we're probably gonna wanna W Triss if we can get the angle. Cat maybe, but there's always the risk she can dodge. So let's see who we can W. We get the W on, on we get the triple Q here. Uh, Triss perfectly jumps after IQ, which is what you have to do. But my movement speed's insane, right? So if I was a normal support, I'd probably have to give up here. But I know that my dead man's is gonna kick in and my mobility will kick in in a second here. She has to waste her ult. Unfortunately, it hits my W, but we're still chasing them down. We got towers that are just giving us more movement speed. Cat, you are not getting away from me. I'm the fastest MF'er in this freaking game. We're getting the full CC on Cat here in a second. Boom, we got her knocked up and no one's helping us. <laughs> so if the squad would have followed us there, they're actually still getting the, the return kills here. So Nunu's ult pops off a huge burst of damage. They get Kane. You are going to want to run from that Jax, dude. I'm telling you right now. That's, yeah, that's, he's getting dead. Okay, but if they would have completely followed me, right? Because it's, it's hard because it looks like I'm playing so crazy. But they were a little bit hesitant. So I get the CC up on Cat, but we don't get the kill on Cat. Like, immediately. I go down. They get the return two kills, which is great. But then Jax just got a freaking double or triple kill. So... Still fine, again, when you're this far behind in a game, the kills are misleading. They're extremely far ahead in this game. Um, anytime you can go, you know, two for two, three for three, or something like that, this is good. Uh, looks like we're talking a little bit more shit. We're gonna be running around, trying to get vision on Baron. I'm always trying to run down lanes versus through the jungle so I can get that movement speed on the towers. Just trying to get as many wards down as I can. They got another drag, it's like the third drag of the game. You always want to, I, I always like setting up little triangles of wards because, so if I really, there's two different strategies with warding. You could try to get a bunch of different areas so you can kind of get peaks around the map. But I like setting up small triangles um, because I like rotating around an area trying to find like a position or an angle I can get on people. So I always try to set up nice little triangles in the enemy jungle uh, so I can get behind people. So again, if I occupy one bush, and I threw three wards elsewhere, I'm kinda, I almost have like four areas warded. So we got Kane. You know, if my team was a little bit more aggressive, we could get a kill here, because I'm behind them. Um, but my team's sitting pretty far back. We're still looking for to set up like a Baron fight, right? If, if we get three or four of them going Baron, we see Jax is bought, we might be able to set up a really big fight here. See, so I got the perfect angle behind the enemy team, but I only got two people. See, this is what I'm talking about. So if, if this was a diamond game, it doesn't matter if my team hated me or not, my team would go, okay, we got Alistair behind the enemy team. Let's set up mid. Nasus has no clue what's going on. I don't know where Vayne is. If I had three people mid right now with Nunu and Corky, I could easily W like Tristana into them and we could win a big fight. But no one's paying attention, so I ping danger. Okay. We're still trying to find a spot. We got Pike coming after me. No one ever is going to hit a skill shot on me. We got smited. We got 10-man CC. We got also We got we got two allies right there, literally right next to me. And they don't do anything. They just stood there. So, Corky could have been just closer outputting damage that entire time they were killing me, but they didn't. We might have a little scuffle here mid. Now they're sitting back. Yeah, so that's the sad thing you see in League, is you see my teammates literally just standing there. They both have full HP, they just do nothing. So they're just kind of stalling out, it looks like. Um, I really hope they don't fight without me. It would be unfortunate. So, Kane's getting CC up. Nunu's gonna have to ult here. He gets a four man ult. Jack's going in, Nunu's dead. Jax flashes away, which is really big. I don't know why he flashed. Nasus is just AFK. Again, their top jungle is so far ahead. Cat is just doing unreal amounts of damage. It looks like we might be able to get some CC in here. That's okay. Pulls us in, which is good. We get the W, we get Jax under tower. Okay, our Aftershock was tanking a lot of shit there and we still get one shot. Nasus goes in and look at Corky. Literally couldn't be further away from the fight. And he still gets flashed on. He's, he couldn't be further away, and they just still want to kill him so bad. Man, I wish I had a team. Okay, so they're just absolutely destroying us. Bane is doing insane amounts of damage, though. Kills Pike, almost able to kill Jax. If she would have got, like, two more autos off, um, they get the inhibitor. 
literally three of us dead. Like, we are in a really bad spot right now. Uh, <laughs> this whole squad. Okay. So, it's okay. They got an inhibitor. Uh, pretty much we're looking to spawn, get wards down, check Baron. Um, never giving up. I'm, you're never going to see me just AFK or anything. I'm always going in, right? Maybe a little too much. We're always going in. We're talking a little bit of shit here. Um, that's actually funny because I, I think that actually turns out to be true. Uh, okay, so we got Nunu. I don't know why he's in there. He almost looks like me, kind of. He was just 1v3. They weren't even on Baron. We got Jax still pushing so hard bot lane. It looks like we got two people on Jax right now. So I'm trying to get vision while they're a little bit distracted. I really want that blue buff though. I do want that blue buff. Am I able to get Jax here? I have Ignite. So I, I have Ignite, so I'm okay with going after Jax there. Um, Cause you want to one shot him before he can get any of his abilities off. I kind of bailed on Nasus here a little bit. I think I could have stuck on them a little bit harder. I thought he was just going to die quicker. So we're going to get Cat here with the, with the Q. We're running in here. We still have ult. We, you, we wait. We save our ult so long here. We have Kane. He has no mana. Kane is 100% dead here. I hope we can pick up the kill. Let's see if we can jack this kill. Come on. Oh, man. We got red buff. We're looking solid. We got a quadra kill on Corky. Corky's doing his best to stay in the game. Pretty much this is a 3v5. Nasus kind of tanking, not really doing much. Nunu not really doing anything. So I, I ping Baron. We're going for Baron. We got 10 seconds on Jax here. So this is going to be a really easy Baron. Nunu rolling the ball and try to get the smite. So you can see, this game again, it says 42-33. More realistically, it's 42 to 10. Like, they literally have an inhibitor tower. And we have one, look at the minimap. We have one single tower. Their top lane jungle are still one and two levels ahead of ours. And I think Corky might be a level ahead. He might even be even with Cat. So we barely have an advantage in any, anywhere. They have huge advantages. So we got the Baron, we win a crazy team fight, right? That's the thing, we we almost just convinced the enemy team that we're trolling. So they overextend, they, they, they do too much, they try to do too much, and look, we get a Baron, okay? So we're kind of back into the game. They still have a big advantage, okay? So we're just fucking running it down here. So, so this is actually a really important point. So we just got Baron. We're still way behind in gold. I guarantee you we're still probably six, 7,000 gold behind. They provided multiple items more than us. So most people, most players, most support players are just be like, yeah, so we got Baron. Let's, you know, five man siege mid, maybe get a tower, maybe get a second tower mid, right? Okay, and then we're all gonna back. We're gonna have a little bit more gold and then we can play it. The theme of how I play and how this Alistair plays is you want to play so aggressively that they don't even know how to respond, okay? Even Kane, Diamond 2, Diamond 1, is going to be like, okay, guys, he's probably saying, guys, let's let's defend mid-tower. Um, they'll get a tower or two, and then Baron will wear, wear off, and then we can still win. There is no one in the universe who's like, oh, Alistair's going to have Ohm Wrecker, 500 movement speed, and just run down mid and just CC everyone on the team and not die. So... What we do here is we kind of disconnect our brain and just go full insanity mode. And if our team follows up, we just win the game. So let's just see what happens here. We are going full, insane, unpredictable kill mode, okay? So we run down mid. We got the tower, ohm wreck. We got Jax out of position. We got Cat out of position. Kane's going, holy shit, they're just instantly going in. He tries to come over the wall. It's too late, Kane. Kane was not prepared for me going in like that. We got, we're got we tanking everything. We're getting CC. We got red buff. We're slowing. We got another kill. We got another CC. We're doing everything. We're still tanking the tower. We, we tank the tower for 10 seconds. We're going in. We get three kills because they're completely unprepared. We have so much movement speed. If anyone comes on my screen, they're dead. Okay? We got the first tower, second tower, we got inhib. It's like, okay, guys, maybe we should back. No, we're going in. We got Nunu rolling a snowball in. Okay? We still have, we have Aftershock about to pop up. It looks like I'm kind of watching myself for when Aftershock comes up. We immediately get the CC up. Okay? We put, we force them back into our base. Tristan is focusing me. Okay? We got Ignite. Oh my gosh. We got me and Vayner dead. This is really close. We got Corky getting the double kill and we get the freaking win. Okay? We were 10. I looked at the stats, we were 10,000 gold down before the Baron fight, okay? You convince the enemy team that you're trolling. You completely throw off their mindset, okay? This is this is a diamond vein, or sorry, this is a diamond cane, probably diamond two, diamond one, and you just completely throw everyone off. You're, you're running it down, you're 
doing whatever you can to just make people, you disrupt their thinking patterns, right? And especially in that last fight, let's, let's actually just go back to that. So especially in this last rundown, this is the most important part. Again, yes, you could just group five man, get a tower or two with zero risk, but why do that, right? Why, why sit back and relax? You can look how off guard we catch them. Watch this, okay? So instead of just, oh yeah, let's just five man group in and push. No, you just run it down. No one knows what to do. Cat thinks she can go back in. She has no idea. Kane is like, why are they engaging just so quickly? Kane tries to go back in. He dies, right? Cat is still slowed by all the CC we have on her. She goes down. They don't know what to do. They're panicking. They're all trying to rush in to save each other. And they already have two dead. Jax tries to go in after they already have two dead. And then we clean up, right? So again, the main theme here is you want to disrupt the enemy team's thinking. You want to dominate the map as much as you can. Even if you're 10,000 gold behind, you have an appearance. You have, you have equity on the map. Like you are physically going around the map trying to do things, okay? And you can just never give up. This game, we are 10,000 gold behind, and I win a game like this once a day where I'm just incredibly far behind, okay? So um, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely do this more often. Um, this was an insane game, a little bit short, uh, but pretty much I, there's so many insane games I could go over like this. Uh, but yeah, never give up. And uh, yeah, the journey to Masters continues. And for next episode, Peace out, guys. The journey to Masters continues. I'll catch you on the next one.